Hello and welcome to today's tutorial where I will show you how to quickly transfer a facial rig from a head to another. Let's say you are making a custom character and you want to quickly rig, uh, quickly transfer the weights of a facial rig for bones such as uh, cheekbones, lip bones, eyelids and whatnot. And uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how to do that in a, in a quick uh, way. And for this method, which I picked up from a friend of mine, you're going to need a plugin called Cats. It's available on GitHub, and I'll put a link down below so you can download and install it. Now, once you've done that, uh, you want the original head model that you're going to take the weights from. And generally, uh, you want to make your custom character as close as possible uh, to your original character that you're going to replace. Um, now... This is the best I could manage. I got uh, Mara's head to be in, like, you know, as close as possible. And uh, this is what we're going to work with for now. Now, you want to add a shape key. Now, first you're going to add a basis, then a key. For our method, it's going to involve shape keys. So, you, you want to make one, obviously. And then you go into edit mode on the head, and then you want to make a shape key that basically has the mouth open. And if you notice anything out of place such as that, you want to select all and uh, merge uh, vertices by distance. Now you do your shape key, just an open mouth, it's basically it. I think this is this is fine. Now you want to go back to your uh, character, original character model that you want to edit, and you don't really need to do any shape key for it. You just want to make sure it fits with uh, the character's head. In my case, Mara. You're gonna do the same thing you've done. You're basically making uh, the the character fit. Now, don't worry about deforming the original character a lot. If there's anything like eyes, you can just go ahead and delete it so it doesn't get in the way. Now, I'm going to select both of these and then raise them up so they fit Mara. Now, if there's stuff like teeth or whatever, you might want to get rid of it. Just safe to be better safe than sorry, so nothing could get in the way, and then you would have uh, a lot of broken weights you want to fix. Right, that looks decent enough. Now, go back to Mara, and then you you will click on uh, Shape Key Specials, and then. Click apply shape key to basis. Now, what we've done to the head is no longer a shape key, and it's basically like the basis. Now, once that's done, you want to go back to the other head model, the original, and then you want to select it and shift select your character's head, then weight paint, and then you want to transfer weights. Now, I use these settings nearest face interpolator for vertex mapping, radius to 5 meters, and source letter selected to by name. Those are the settings I always use for made painting in general. Now, you want to get rid of uh, the original head model since we don't really need it anymore. And uh, you can just go ahead and uh, click on the reverted key and click apply shape key to basis. Now, the shape key that we've done previously, which we switched to the basis, is now back to where it was originally. So then, now you have all the waiting you needed and you don't really have to worry about anything now if there's like any oddities you can fix them it, it won't be too hard but this looks good enough I obviously will polish it before um, release if there's 
small stuff like this, like I said, it's not going to be hard to fix. Looks good enough. Now, in case if you have any bugs in your rig or whatever, you can just select it in edit mode and assign all those blue areas from around the mouth. Assign them to wait. Minimize issues. That sometimes happens for me and it fixes it. But yeah, now you just basically got your uh, rig transferred from the original and you don't really have to do a whole lot of work. If you see your weights out of place, you might have done the shape key thing wrong, because I used to do that in the past. Uh, basically, I would just keep it and not uh, change the basis, change it to a basis, and vice versa. But if you've done everything just as in this video, you shouldn't have too much problems with that. I hope uh, you enjoyed and learned something new, and I hope this helps you in your mod, in your modding journeys, and basically all your mods that you're doing and uh thanks for watching <laughs>